y'all welcome back to my channel my name is sarah and i'm an incoming sophomore at uc berkeley for the entirety of my freshman year i was at home in la so i've never been on campus i'm packing because i'm gonna move there on friday which is crazy and it's monday today i still haven't packed anything i went on a little shopping spree with my mom and got some essential things that i might need i'm stressed i'm anxious but mostly excited the reason why i didn't end up going was my whole family got covid and it was just really stressful and I didn't want to put myself in that position so I decided to wait until things cool down. I've never lived on my own before. I mean I'm actually gonna have three more roommates in a four bedroom apartment. It's actually not like I'm sharing a single room but I'm still super excited to adjust to that independent lifestyle. And by the way guys so for UC Berkeley I believe they only guarantee dorm housing for freshmen which is why I'm actually living in an apartment that's about 10 minutes away from campus. So I bet most of you guys found me on YouTube through my room makeover, which I did last year. And that was at a time where I for sure knew I was going to stay home for the whole year. So I wanted to really change up my space so I can feel peaceful and comfortable in it. And I'm really proud of this room. I'm going to miss it so, so much. But also I'm ready for a new chapter. So I have everything I want already. I just need to tear it down. And also go watch my room makeover video if you haven't, it's super funny. I'll show you guys what I ended up getting last night. I went to Target and Marshall. I just got a few essential things I needed. New triplet, vacuum. I got my Brita filter right there. Pot, some hand soap, really basic stuff. I got this emergency band-aids. And I'm probably gonna fill up these two suitcases with my clothing, but I'm also gonna keep this at my apartment in case I wanna go visit friends. So I just have something with me yeah let's start packing i really really hate packing i'm probably gonna end up taking way more clothes than i actually need i don't know how big my closet is i'm just gonna look through my closet and actually bring the stuff i've worn this summer Hey guys, so a few things I ordered from Amazon ended up coming today. I got this sage green duvet cover and I got another one in this kind of coffee cream color. Today my goal is to get most of my clothes in my two suitcases right there. It's a mess in here. Guys, so I don't know if this is normal, but I have a whole suitcase full of just my bottoms. Like, I don't know if I'm bringing more than I'm supposed to. My mom can always bring it back if I don't have enough room. It's like 12 a.m. and I'm probably gonna finish this tonight. So I don't have to deal with it tomorrow. the fancy kind of tops are all here and then i have a bunch of jackets and since the sf area is kind of cold i'm bringing a lot of like puffers i'm bringing like a raincoat some flannels you know i'm gonna use this technique where you wrap a trash bag around the hangers so basically all the hangers stay in place so once you make it to your apartment you can easily just hang up everything instead of having to do it individually and i'll show you guys a reference picture of what i'm gonna try to do I have no room in here to put my coats and stuff, so I'm just gonna move all my shirts over here. Guys, that took a while, and I ended up getting rid of a few clothing items because it simply wouldn't fit <laughs> in here. So I have this like puffer jacket. So when I first got this, it was in this baggie here, so I'm gonna try to fit it in here. I am so tired already. Tomorrow is Thursday and it's my last day and I don't want to be stressed. Yeah, I need to like at least get my suitcases closed by tonight. Why did I just do an accent? I also put a lot of hangers in here and also this cool hanger which lets you hang multiple hangers at once. Also saves a lot of closet space and I got these from Amazon. Yeah, these are pretty useful if you're in a dorm. These are a must. I'm also gonna put my tote bag and my basic black bag in here.
And for these, I'm just gonna do the trash bag trick that I told you guys about. Okay, I think I did this a little differently because her trash bags had handles and mine don't, so I literally just stuck it through. And I think it still works kind of to keep it clean. I think this is fine. And I'm probably gonna tie this with the rubber band so everything stays put. And yeah, I think we're done with my clothing. Worst part of packing. Are you confused? Come here. Hi. Just look at her teeth. Hey y'all, so I showered for the last time in my lovely bathroom and I packed up all my toiletries, makeup, looking like a hot mess. I'm going to my last dinner with some of my closest friends right now. I'll just give you guys the rundown of everything once I get home. I'm nervous. Oh my god. I just came back from a dinner with my friends and we were just ranting about life. One of my friends is heading to New York right now, so that's pretty fun. Yeah, it just overall seems so unreal that I'm actually moving right now because I've been at home for a whole year for college, so it doesn't really feel like I actually had a college experience at all and I I still don't know exactly what that might be. Really exciting and it's a new chapter which came a year late but that's totally fine with me. I'm just going to see what happens and it's the night before. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown of what happened today. I was a little stressed and I decided to just keep track of everything and pack and it was hard to film while doing that. I'm trying my best. Please subscribe, support me. Literally, I love you guys. But anyways, um, so I'm seriously questioning how this is gonna all fit in my car because all the boxes are different sizes and I couldn't find like a huge box for everything. So it's kind of a mess, but I'll just like give you guys a quick rundown. My sketchbook, this astrology thing. I thought it would be fun to like just go through it with friends. I don't know. My journal, no one's gonna look through that. If my roommates are watching this, please don't even touch that. Um, anyways yearbooks so we can talk trash about people just kidding totally not gonna do that another yearbook and some q-tips quite random and then this is a tapestry that i got for my room makeover if you guys want to get any kind of decor just get a tapestry because it goes on your wall it doesn't take that much space and honestly it can really transform your room over here i have a bunch of my little baby plants and i'm probably gonna bring these two as well and the one hanging up there but these are just the small ones but anyways yeah they're so cute i have a bunch of frames here i don't know how i'm gonna hang them we'll figure that out once we're over there Whew, i need to catch my breath okay this is a suitcase with a bunch of clothes again a lot of clothes um over here i have another wildflower specimen poster i got from amazon here i have my little crystal garden have my makeup mirror right here. This is for watering my plants. I have my Himalayan salt lamp. Over here is my full length mirror. Okay, I got this from Sheen, but it's basically like a bathroom cabinet thing that you can assemble. It's really useful actually, saves a lot of space. And then this is just my diffuser, a little trinket dish and another one underneath that. And then here's my little jewelry box with all the goods right there. And this is just a bunch of cotton balls in a glass container. Here is all my stationery, an extension cord. I have all my shoes that I want in here. I'm just planning on bringing docks for like rainy days, sneakers for like working out, these white Nikes that I don't care to get more dirty because they're already kind of gross. And I'm probably going to be wearing those to like parties or whatever. And I'm actually going to wear those black Converse. Those are my go-tos. They also have this bag. If I go to yoga or dance classes or whatever, I just have a place to put all my stuff in. I'm bringing four basic white towels and then one beach towel 
and another like picnic blanket which is down here it's like really cute and rainbow i have more small business stuff over here all of my like packaging stuff is down here some more things like cardstock paper and then obviously all my charms i have my printer i have this cute little pillow it's like the urban outfitters one and then i got this fluffy one two more accent pillows to Bring a pop of color fluffy beige blanket this is like a really random box i have two stuffed animals this lamp for my nightstand and a bunch of pad trash can here is my adorable nightstand that i'm bringing five minute journal some more books and i'm probably not gonna have enough time to read some pepper spray over here and then this little plant i made a while back in my room makeover video I was just taking down my string lights and I noticed I have a little pimple right here. Perfect timing, perfect timing. I'm pretty much done. So I'm just gonna sleep, then wake up early, put everything in the car, and then actually start driving there at around nine. It's about a six hour trip from LA to Berkeley. I'll probably be there around like 12 or three, which is the time for my key pickup. If you're ever moving, always have a reusable water bottle with you so you don't die from dehydration. I really need to go to bed now. And just did my skincare, but I just wanted to point out, time literally flies by when you're packing. I thought I had so much time to make a grocery list and do all this other stuff, but I literally spent the whole day packing. Literally three hours goes by and I'm like, I didn't do shit. I'm so tired, I'm gonna go to bed now, good night. Hey y'all, so I got up a little earlier so I could straighten my hair and do my makeup and I just literally put everything in the car except for my hair and skincare stuff so I'll show you guys what we have with that over here i have my shampoo and conditioner in the back this is just all my nail stuff and then i have body wash hair oil deodorant all the necessities and over here i have a bunch of skincare stuff on this side and then my blow dryer and like literally two nail polishes and here i just have all my hair stuff like scrunchies and hair ties and whatnot i'm picking my straightener because i just straightened my hair makeup stuff and I just put it in this box so it stays. I think we're done packing. This is crazy. Like, I still don't feel like I'm actually going. Oh my god. Okay, bye, old room. Bye, Lucy. up setting up a few things in my room like this flower poster my nightstand right here it's like 12 a.m i'm gonna plan on finishing this tomorrow and i met two of my roommates today they're so sweet i love them they're great and i'm overall really happy with how smooth the transition was good night guys <laughs>
guys, future Sarah here. It's Thanksgiving break right now and I'm at home. As you can see, thank you so much for watching my move-in video. It was really fun to film as it was my first time moving out and I'm really happy with the result and I'm so grateful to be living in such a nice apartment. Overall, I'm super happy and the process went much smoother than I expected. And if you're super nervous about moving to college, just know that there's so many people in the same position as you are and everyone's nervous to adjust and to say goodbye to their family so you're not alone and you got this also sorry if the ending is kind of weird i wasn't able to get footage of my entire room but i'm sure you'll see it in my upcoming content and if you enjoyed this video feel free to like subscribe i'll see you in my next video thank you